Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an oil change on the Polaris Ranger 6x6. This is a 2004, uh, one of the early ones. It's not the first one, but it's the second generation uh, 6x6. Um, I just did an oil change on my Ranger 900. Just thought it would be interesting to show this process and show uh, the differences with this one versus what they're doing with the, with the new ones. Um, I did get one of the oil change kits. Again, uh, this only takes um, two quarts of oil, I guess, and then a, a Polaris filter. Hopefully this is the right one. I believe I ordered this kit last time uh, for this. I, I like to change these um, every year, no matter what hours or whatever I put on these things. Um, at least every um, every year. That seems to work out for me. I got two of these, so I'm not putting a ton of hours on them. Uh, but anyway, uh, this uh, oil change is, a, is a, quite a bit different than the uh, 900. There's an oil reservoir right here. And those of you that uh, know the, the Sportsman uh, 500s will recognize this, the early Sportsman 500s. Uh, they have a separate uh, oil tank, and that gets sucked into the into the motor there. This is the motor. It's a single cylinder, uh, 500 uh, cc motor. I don't think it's 500. I think it's 499 or something like that. Um, the oil filter is right there. Uh, there it is on the side of the motor. So I haven't done that yet. I did take the drain plug out of this uh, this reservoir. And I think that you can go under the motor there. And I think you can drain out just a little bit more oil. There is a, a plug, but I've never done that with the, our, we have a Sportsman 500 early one. I've never done that. Uh, all I've done is this reservoir here. And there it is. There's the drain plug that I pulled out. Um, when you do an oil change, you're never going to get all the oil out anyway. Um, if you do it often enough, your oil should be uh, fairly clean. You shouldn't have to um, shouldn't have to go after that extra little bit of oil. I I've, I've never done that. If you want to do that, you can go ahead and, and do that. But like I said, there's where the drain plug uh, comes out right there. Uh, I got my oil drained into the a little gallon jug that I got cut and here is the drain plug and this one actually has a magnet on it I don't know why they went away with that it's always nice to catch your uh, little debris or whatever that that you get but uh, this has got a nylon washer instead of a copper washer and I didn't get a new one in this kit so I'll be reusing this one but this is probably the original one anyway but um, yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, uh, drain plug back in and we'll go after the oil filter. Okay, so I'm going after the oil filter right now. Uh, pretty tough to show you much of anything. I do have some rags down there uh, to catch, uh, hopefully, most of the oil that uh, is gonna come out once you screw the, the filter out. So there it is. I'll make sure the numbers are the same. So they are the same filter. A um, little bit of oil on your gasket surface. I'm going to go clean the, the gasket surface on the, the motor there. Make sure they're nice and clean for the oil filter. And we're going to spin it, spin it on there. Okay, so I got a little bit of an oil spill under there. Uh, there's thought there wasn't much oil in that filter, but apparently it got past my rags, but um, I made a mess uh, in here too. They got oil down there. 
but I'm going to check out uh, some some super clean here. I'm going to use this. I just got this uh, given to me, guys, uh, to try. So we'll see uh, see how that works. It's supposed to be uh, way better than uh, the regular uh, oil dry. So and then I've got some uh, foamy foamy degreaser. So we'll give this a try. Clean up the machine and the floor. Okay, so now I'm going to add my oil, and you're going to notice we are in the cab. Um, unlike the 900 where you're behind the bed or under the bed, uh, these motors are pretty much right under your seat. And it comes with a, uh, this is where the dipstick is. It's inside that reservoir that I showed you, and it's got a dipstick, and it's got a level. So we're going to add the oil, and I believe... This thing takes uh, most of the two quarts and my little filter or my funnel ain't going to fit on there so I'm going to need two hands. So you guys can see there's quite a difference. Quite a difference uh, in the whole machine from, from the early days to now. Uh, I think the 1000 is pretty much the same as the 900. As far as where the engine is and how you change the oil, it's, it's pretty well the same. So that's pretty much it guys, once they get this oil in here, uh, I'm going to uh, fire it up, we'll pressurize the system, check my oil, and we've got another oil change down, Till next year anyway. Get a dipstick back in. Um, got my oil filter on. This thing should fire up. I gotta push the brake. Make sure we're in neutral. Sounds good guys. I'm going to check her and then we'll top her off and we'll be done. Um, I'm going to back her out. I'm going to throw some of that super clean oil dry on my oil spill. I'm going to go outside. We'll spray uh, the motor down and everything with that foamy cleaner. And well, then we'll rinse that off, and then I'll take her for a for a spin, let the motor warm up, dry everything out, and put her away for the night.
Okay, so I just got back from a quick little ride. Uh, anytime I get my um, engine and stuff sprayed down and wet, I always like to go for a, a little ride to use the heat of the engine to kind of dry everything out. I never spray it down and then, you know, just park it and put it away. I like to get it all dried, dried out. So, um, not bad for just a spray down and a rinse off um, with that uh, super clean. Uh, it did a pretty good job. Like I said, I didn't scrub nothing. A little bit of uh, scrubbing and wiping there and would have cleaned this thing, I think, right up. But anyway, just going to do a final check on my, my oil. Make sure uh, everything's okay there. Make sure I've not uh, got any leaks um, dripping or anywhere from the from the filter, and uh, that's gonna be it.